Good morning, everybody. I didn't see you all there. Man, I've always wanted to say that in a video. But yeah, anyway, <clears throat> hope everybody's doing great this morning. Don't really have a good subject to cover today. But if something happened to me at our show, I wasn't mad about it. I mean, I, I just picked on the girl for doing it. Just for fun. But I mean, uh, you know, shit like this happens, especially when you have a demo car. And on TikTok, I had gotten so many comments on this. It's like, the the car is worth like 3000 and the system's worth like ten, Or, you know, system's worth three times as much as the car. Get that a lot. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> and the reason is, we destroy cars. When you do a big build, especially like... Uh, a really nasty, I think nasty no walls <clears throat> do a lot more damage to a car. It might be 50 50, but they destroy the back of the car. Like nasty no walls destroy the back. Once you wall a car off, you start destroying like the firewall, floor pans, and doors. But anyway, um, yeah, we destroy cars, which is, you know, why we don't want to, you know, go out and buy a brand new G-Wagon and put a wall in it, uh, would be kind of asinine. So, with that being said, let's show you what happened. You guys know I'm lifted up pretty high, and this works great for people to grab a hold of to get in the Jeep. Uh, most people don't even think about it. They want to grab this, and the girl grabbed it, and you can see there, she broke, like, the screw hole out. And of course it keeps falling. I keep trying to stick it back up. I put some tape on it, but I can't get the tape through here to leak water when it rains. So I taped it to the windshield. But she broke my fiberglass right there. But yeah, it's not a handle. And believe it or not, she's not the first person to grab a hold of it. She's just the first person I didn't catch. Something I've never really shown in video before, but welded there all down through here there 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 here and it's got so many coats of uh stuff on it to keep it from leaking water because it keeps cracking this is my new bad crack that i need to fix it goes back behind the windshield but it was leaking water and the old 3m tape really really works good for things but this roof has been welded, cracked, welded, cracked, welded, and cracked. Like a lot. You know, I had some cracks in the floor pans. I fiberglassed all that. Uh, the doors, passenger doors cracking at the seam. It has uh, ripped the hinges out of the body before. And it broke the crash bar loose in and I had to weld it back. But... Other than that, I mean, some mild cracking on the inside of the door. Nothing major, but I demo both windows down for the most part. I mean, I got a few videos where uh, I roll the window up and do some door flex, but for the most part, I want to play at the windows down to actually keep more damage from happening. But, yes, that is why we prefer to use ship boxes. Now, we do like our ship boxes to look all right, which explains the 20 by 12s and all that, but honestly, this was my old mud truck before I did this to it. Uh, this thing still got lockers in the front and back, a Ford 88 rear disc, you know, the lift and everything. Like, I literally, every weekend, I'd have this thing off in the mud or off-road somewhere, but with that, I mean... I would go the whole summer without ever rolling the windows up. I just put a trash bag over the driver's seat if it was going to rain and let it go. But then I wanted a system, put a system in it, and here we are. But that is why base heads prefer a ship box. So if you have a nice car, don't build it super loud. You're just going to screw it up. Like my wife's Ford Edge, that was just our, that, well, it is our daily driver. It was a pretty nice car, you know. And within a week of having the 215s in it, that's a little no-wall car. 
it already broke the sunroof tracks. Like the sunroof won't open, won't close if we do get it open. So, I mean, that, that's, that car only did like 55s. So the, the loudest it ever got was a 55. And it already broke shit in it. So, that's why us base heads, we prefer to build in a ship box. Or some base heads have a nice daily ride and they turn it into a ship box pretty quick break and everything. Because you got to brake, weld, and if you're a base head that don't know how to weld, I guarantee you'll find a friend pretty quickly that does know how to weld because you're going to need a lot of stuff welded. And welding comes in really handy when you are a base head for even making shit like this, you know, stripper pole. And welding the damage you do to your car. But that's kind of all for today's video, guy, guys, girls, whoever's watching this, leave a like or a comment. Do you have a loud ass car at the ship box and you keep breaking things? Leave a comment. Are you thinking about just building a nice car and turning it into a ship box? Leave a comment. I don't know. Tell me what you got going on out there or what you've broke. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Peace out. And as always, guys, base on.